As Memorial Day comes up, it makes me really proud to do what I do because, you know, the men and women that are out there fighting for my freedom and, you know, fighting for me, I feel as though I'm, I'm doing my part by helping to make sure that they get home to their loved ones. At this laboratory, we do human identification. So whether that be from past wars or current wars, um, we identify human remains. It's not CSI. Uh, we don't have floating computers. We don't have, you know, injecting into a machine and a face comes up. It, this, this stuff takes time to make the, the DNA work and to get a full sequence so we can report that out and hopefully get somebody home. Everyone who goes into the military uh, has to give a DNA sample, a blood stain. Um, we don't like to use them because that kind of means something not good. But uh, what that does mean is, um, you know, when someone does come back for identification purposes, uh, they all have to be identified via DNA. So we dot all the I's and cross all the T's and make sure that's truly them. The importance of identifying the human remains is basically to make sure that everyone who has gone to war and um, who has lost their life or who has been taken captive um, gets home and um, gets the uh, the rest and the closure uh, that they deserve. It's really rewarding to work here by me doing my part and helping them to get home to their families who've been missing them for you know, so many years um, or you know, been worried about them. I just think that it, it's, it's, it's just a feeling of gratitude that I'm able to give back to these men and women.